today we're gonna prepare peach crumble. Our ingredients are graham crackers, margarine, spreadable, low fat, vanilla yogurt. We have our sugar and our star, our peaches. And you wanna make sure you get the peaches that are in light syrup or that it's in its own juices. Let's give our hands a wash. We wanna make sure our water is warm. So of course you want to wash your hands for 20 seconds as long as it sing, takes to sing the happy birthday song or most kids learn the tops and bottoms song. So give it a nice lather and give it a rinse. And it's good to rinse down, that way you'll get the soap going down your hand and it won't go back up your arm. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn our stove on low. We're going to get our skillet heated. Now with your graham crackers, graham crackers is, is whole grain and it's a great source of whole grains, and it's something good that your kids will love. You just wanna get the graham cracker pack and crush them up, which I already have some crushed, but it's a great way to get your children involved, so you just get them to crush your crackers. So we're just gonna take, and we're gonna typically use three sheets of graham crackers, so we're just gonna put it on one side of our dish. So that's about three right there. And you can always just put a twisty tie on them, put them back in the fridge, and you can use them again for later. And of course, we know graham crackers is also our pie crust when you're doing graham cracker pie crust. So we have those in. We're just gonna spread them out just a little bit. To our graham crackers, we're gonna add two teaspoons of sugar. Now, the graham crackers are already originally sweet, so you don't have to add tea, uh, sugar if you don't like. So we're just gonna get our two teaspoons of sugar. We're just gonna shake that in there. And you wanna make sure your skillet is on low because if not, your graham crackers will definitely burn and of course that will kill your recipe. So we're just gonna shake that up in there. And just make sure that sugar is incorporated. Now we're gonna add our tablespoon of spreadable butter. And it's better to get the spreadable because it's easier and it's also lower in fat. So we just have our tablespoon here. And we're just gonna put that on this side of the skillet. And we're just gonna move that around to get it to melt. So while that's melting, so we don't get any burnish in our skillet, we're gonna go ahead and open up our canned peaches. Now you wanna make sure that you do Wipe your cans off with a damp, moist cloth. And these are so good because they're pop top, so you don't even need a can opener. We're gonna open it halfway, and we're gonna drain the juice off of this because we're gonna warm our peaches as well. And you definitely don't wanna have a pan of juice. So we're just going to drain off our peaches. Take the rest of that lid off. Now since our butter has melted, we're gonna take our graham crackers and we're just gonna move everything into that butter. And yes, this is the way you make your pie crust as well. So we're just gonna get that in there. Now with this recipe, you don't have to use canned peaches. You can use fresh peaches. You can use canned apples, pears, whichever fruit you like. I'm not sure about strawberries because I'm not sure how they would taste warm, but if you like warm strawberries, why not? Go for it. Your food, your choice. We have that in there. And we're just gonna keep that to that side. So while our graham crackers are browning, we're just gonna go ahead and add our peaches to the other side. Great way to warm up these peaches without using so many dishes. So while that is just warming up, lay down all those peaches here. Peaches are a great source of vitamin A and potassium, which is also good for you. So let's get our vanilla yogurt. And we're gonna use a cup of vanilla yogurt. Make sure you stir it up, just so you get everything mixed in in that yogurt. And we're just gonna 
just let it just slop out a piece of a cup of yogurt. That's our cup there. So basically everything is warm. We're going to assemble it. I like to assemble it in one big dish. That way everybody can just serve themselves. So I'm going to take my crumbles out. And I'm just going to line my dish with my crumbles. Now you definitely don't want to throw any of the crumbles you have left over away. Because we're going to use that to make our topping so much prettier. We just get all of our graham crackers out of there. And that's okay if it touch the peach juice because everything is going to be put in together anyway. You can go ahead and turn off your stove because you definitely don't want those peaches to burn. So we spread that out. And we're going to just spread our yogurt right on top of that. You use the same spoon. No one's going to know. Spread out our yogurt. Let's get all of that out of there. And then we're just going to top it with our peaches. So like I said, the crumbles that you have later, you can just take just a bunch and just sprinkle it on top. And that is your peach crumble. Now let's taste it. It's just me, so I'm gonna dig right out of it. A piece of that, of that crumble. Oh my God, that's so good. Mm. There you have it, a very well-balanced dessert, something your kids can also help you with. This is Peach Crumble. I'll see you next week, same time, same place, different recipe.